Hello again. I hope you haven't forgotten me, Bombardier Jaden Bodwin, one of the percussionists in the Royal Canadian Artillery Band. For our next part in the Auxiliary Percussion Series, we'll be talking about how to shake yourself up for success when you play, you guessed it, the shaker. We'll cover how to hold the shaker, as well as how to incorporate short and long notes, called staccato and legato, into a groovy pattern that's going to get everybody dancing. To hold the shaker, keep it parallel to the floor and place it between your fingers and thumb with your thumb facing your body. First, we'll focus on the short or staccato notes. By using a relaxed wrist motion along with a little bit of arm movement, move the shaker forwards and backwards. As you move, you want to feel the beads inside the shaker hitting both sides. Sometimes it can help to practice this without the shaker. For our legato notes, we don't want to move our wrist as much. We should feel the beads inside the shaker swishing around instead of hitting the sides. Now that we know how to play both notes, we need to put them together. On screen, you can see a pattern that can be used in everything from rock and roll to Latin music. It starts with one staccato note, then two legato notes, and finally, another staccato note. It can be really fun to shake up a storm, but make sure your staccato notes and your legato notes sound different. Otherwise, you can end up with a pattern that nobody wants to dance to. Thanks for watching, and as always, shake that thumbs up and subscribe button to see more videos. And if you want to see more from the RCA Band, you can check out our Facebook and Instagram pages. We'll see you next time for another video in our Auxiliary Percussion Series.